Are you ready? Because we're going five pounds down every four weeks in 2022. And today is low impact cardio with no equipment needed. So let's go. All right, killer bees, let's go ahead and get moving and grooving. And that means that we're getting started with some arm circles with high knees. You guys, welcome to the workout. I'm Paula B. I'm your best middle-aged fitness friend. And around here, we are all about making peace with your menopausal body by finding a healthy weight and moving in ways that feel like self-love. And you know what really feels like self-love? Finding that healthy weight with the 5-0 method where every day we do five things that make us say, oh, I had no idea that losing weight over 50 could be this easy. We eat the right number of calories, which is not necessarily less than you've been eating before. We drink the right amount of water, which is half your body weight in pounds, in ounces of water. We also get enough sleep every night. Let's go ahead and do some arm crossers with booty kickers, which means that we go to bed at the same time and we get up at the same time, and we don't really worry about how much in between was actual sleep. We also exercise moderately every single day, which is not necessarily more than you were doing before, and in fact, might be less. And we manage our mind by finding our thoughts and deciding if they're helpful. And you guys, today's very, very helpful thought is I am balancing. Let's go ahead and do some welcome to my homes. Because you know what? Trying to do five things every day, especially if at least one, two, three, four, or maybe even all five of them are kind of new to your routine, doesn't it just feel like you're trying to balance out like how much you're thinking about weight loss and how much you're thinking about exercising and how much you're still thinking about your family and how much you're thinking about work and how much you're thinking about all of the things and doing all of the things. And my friends, I want you to know that when we think about balancing, that it's always a practice. Balancing is not something you are going to get so good at that you become an expert and you never have to practice it again. We practice our balance, kind of like we're going to do in today's workout, <laughs> a little bit at a time. Here's what today's workout looks like. We've got the handy dandy gym boss set for 20 second intervals and we're going inchworm style, which means that we actually start off, oh my gosh, by falling over, with a lot of rest, but don't you worry. It's cardio. We're going to get your heart rate up. We're going to get started with some low swinging tappers, which is exactly what it sounds like. Nope, those are heel digs. <laughs> low swinging tappers looks like this. Hey, speaking of practice, I'm going to practice some low swinging tappers. <laughs> the thing about an inchworm workout is it kind of sneaks up on you. We start off just doing this 20 second interval and then we've got 20 seconds of rest and I'm going to go ahead and just balance on one foot. Just going to kind of Stand here with one foot up off the ground. Now, I have my left foot down on the ground and I'm gonna try really hard. I mean, you know, let's just see how this goes. I'm gonna try really hard to do the other foot next time. I have no idea if it's gonna work out like that or not. When it beeps again, we're doing those low swinging tappers again. Oh, but we're adding on a second exercise. Now, for the rest of the workout, except until we get to the very end, there will be two exercises on every like work interval. So we're adding on pretzel jacks. Pretzel jacks means that our hands are doing jumping jacks, even though there's absolutely no jumping today. And our lower body is doing like a little half of a pretzel. So we're bringing up one foot at a time and we're twisting that knee out. That's the really specific pretzel part of this. It doesn't really matter how high your foot gets. We're aiming for whatever, like your knee, your shin, your ankle, wherever you can get to is really the point that we're twisting that knee out because, oh, do you feel that work in your booty? Yes, indeed. So I'm gonna stand on my right foot this time. I'm gonna to try to do a little bit of balancing all of our rest periods. You are welcome to balance or not balance, to practice or not practice, whatever way feels good to you. Probably tapping down is gonna be important for this balance work, but we're thinking about I am balancing. Here we go with those pretzel jacks again. And this time we're adding on a little something I call push, push. It means that we're just pushing to the side one way and then pushing to the side the other way. Thinking about a lateral motion like that, kind of like having our knee twisting out with these pretzel jacks, very unusual. Moving our body in a different way than we normally do. So push and push and push and push. A little bit of, I always kind of think this looks like Kind of like a hula dancing, not that I've ever done that, but it just kind of looks like that motion to me. If I were coordinated and graceful, maybe it would look like that to you too. When it beeps 
second. <laughs> We've got 20 seconds of rest and I'm gonna try sending out my other foot again. Okay, so here, did you notice how we were like inchworming our way through? So when it beeps again, we're gonna do that push, push first and then we're adding on a second different exercise. And we're gonna inchworm our way all the way through my list of exercises. I love doing work like this because it puts us in different pairs. Here we go with that push, push, and having to think about transitioning from different exercises, honestly, it's one of the hardest parts of our work here is that brain-body connection where we're thinking about, okay, what is coming next? What am I doing next? Well, coming up next, we're doing starbursts. It's a little something, it, you're gonna get little, you're gonna get little, and you're gonna get big. It's not a full squat, it's just a little stick your booty out behind you. As you come up from it, you're getting real big with your arms and big with one foot. It's a little bit of a burst. And you notice that having your hands up, even that little bit, hands go up, heart rate goes up. This is how we get the most bang for our buck. And I'm just gonna do a little bit of balancing here. And I notice, oh, as my heart rate comes up, the balance gets harder. That's why we practice in these small intervals because we're just, we're trying to figure out how to balance everything. Taking everything in small intervals is the way to get better at everything. Here we go with those starbursts. And then we're gonna add on punch down tap outs, which is exactly what it sounds like. We're gonna punch down while tapping out on one side. This, this is the magic of my exercises, you guys. I name them exactly what we're doing or I name them what they look like. So punch down, tap out, punch down and tap out. I name them what they remind me of. If I've got like a childhood story of something silly, I very rarely give them any kind of a name that I think another fitness trainer might recognize. Because you know what cardio moves? I don't think they necessarily have names except what we make up for them. I'm gonna stand on, see, I already forgot. I think, I think I was standing on my right foot last time. I have no idea, I could probably figure it out. You guys, when it beeps again, we're gonna do those punch down tap outs and we're pairing them with front clap kickers. For whatever reason, that is a very difficult name for me to say, but here's our punch down tap outs. But you know exactly what we're doing when I call them front clap kickers, right? We're going to clap to the front and we're going to kick. Now the trick on this one is that we've got our hands up at shoulder height the whole time. So it really kind of does feel like a little bit of work in the middle of your back. Make sure that you've got your core pulled in nice and tight as we are opening up our hands wide. Do you feel that stretch in your chest, that work in your back? And also, of course, a little bit of balance work while we're doing this too. You guys, there's always a little something extra going on. Even, even when we're doing cardio that, here we go with 20 seconds of rest or balancing. Even when we're only, only doing cardio, and especially, technically speaking, there's a fair bit of rest in this workout. When we're doing cardio that has enough rest, that it's not like, you know, super high intensity, super high heart rate, your body, here we go with those front clap kickers, your body is doing so much more work than you realize. By pulling in your core, thinking about your brain-body connection, thinking about pulling your arms back with intention from those big muscles in your back, as opposed to just flinging your arms around. By the way, when it beeps, we're doing diving airplanes. Gonna have your hands out again like this as we tip to the side, doing kind of a, a cross between a booty kicker and that pretzel jack. So you're kicking your own booty, but you're kicking your opposite <laughs> booty. <laughs> rather than just straight back. And no, I do not care if you actually touch your hand to your foot. I'm nowhere near being able to do such a thing. Here we go with our 20 seconds of rest. Whoo, slash balance. Okay, you know, on paper, this sounded like it was gonna be so much fun. Oh, we'll just balance on the 20 second rest intervals. In reality, this is, this is good work for us. When it beeps again, we're gonna do those diving airplanes and we're adding on, here we go with the diving airplanes. We're adding on kick jacks, which is exactly what it sounds like. And then, my friends, once we've done those kick jacks, you've seen everything we're gonna do. We're gonna go through this circuit one more time. We're gonna inchworm our way all the way through all these exercises again. So it is a little bit of a repeat today and you've had plenty of time. Here we go with kick jacks. Nope, that's a booty kicker jack. Here we go with kicking forward. 
<laughs> okay. So even though I name them exactly what they are, sometimes that still does not translate to my brain doing exactly what I have just said out loud. You guys, I want you to know that you are never, here we go with 20 seconds of rest, you are never doing it wrong unless you are injuring yourself. If you are injuring yourself, that is problematic. And that is something that we really pay attention to. This is actually why we do balance work so that you don't injure yourself. This work coming all the way up your leg and right here into your core. Here we go with kick jacks. Coming all the way up your leg and into your core is the thing that's going to keep you on your feet for the rest of your life. That balance work, my friends, goes such a long way. When it beeps again, I'm gonna try and transition into those low swinging tappers and we'll just see how it goes. Here we go, hey, I did it this time. <laughs> let, me, let me just tell you something, my friends. When you transition from one exercise to the other, you give yourself a big pat on the back because sometimes it is harder than others and I wholeheartedly believe in cheering yourself on and taking credit for even the tiniest things that you do. 20 seconds of standing on one foot, that deserves a big hooray. Especially now that we've done this several times, you're starting to really feel that work. And I want you to know, first of all, when it beeps again, we're doing those low swinging tappers. But second of all, if you feel this work in your foot, which I know lots of us do, I want you to really think about bringing that work further up your leg. Here's the thing about developing a brain-body connection. We can ask our bodies to do certain things. I'm gonna be again, we're doing pretzel jacks, by the way. That's those hands doing jumping jacks, even though there's absolutely no jumping today. Your lower body doing that little turn out knee, kind of a tap sort of a thing. It's a really good description, right? <laughs> But the thing about moving your body with intention, first of all, it has lots and lots and lots of benefits because here's what happens when you are moving your body in a way on purpose. You are recruiting muscles on purpose, which is strengthening them. When you just move your body and do whatever, your body is gonna do something that it is very efficient at, which is not necessarily what you want it to be doing. Here we go with those pretzel jacks again. Our bodies, our bodies do funny things, frankly, in so many ways. Like, I, that, that's its own topic. But anyways, your body has gotten used to moving in certain ways. And your body got efficient at that, but was not necessarily effective at that. Here we go with push, push. We're gonna push and push and push and push. Your body is more effective when it's recruiting big muscles. Doing big movements from big muscles helps tone those big muscles. And then your little helper muscles, like your lower back, your triceps, some of the littler muscles, they help. And then here we go with our 20 seconds of rest. But they don't necessarily do all the work. Your body, however, just trying to move a certain way might very automatically accidentally use the helper mu muscles instead of the big muscles. And then when it does that, by the way, when it beeps again, we're doing that push, push paired with the starburst. When it does that over time, it will get very efficient at doing that and it won't even try to do it any other way until we ask it to. This is how we get injuries, you guys. This is exactly how we get injuries. We've been doing squats for years, felt totally fine, didn't look like any big deal, but if you've been doing them wrong all this time using helper muscles instead of, here we go with the starburst, using helper muscles instead of the big muscles, well then all of a sudden, your joints are like, hey, no thank you, I didn't like any of that all this time. You sometimes don't notice that you've been injuring yourself until you've been moving efficiently in a way that wasn't effective. Here's 20 seconds of balancing rest. <sighs> I told you your heart rate was gonna come up. And I think my heart rate is actually staying up when we're doing this balance work because this, significantly harder for me than cardio. Cardio, very efficient at that. It's not as effective as it used to be because I'm very good at cardio. I do a lot of cardio when it beeps again. Here we go with those starbursts. Balance work, even though I practice it. I gotta tell you, I'm neither efficient nor effective. <laughs> balance work. Well, I'm effective because I'm bringing the work up into my core. I'm asking the middle of my body to be the center of my balance. When it beeps again, doing those punch down tap outs, 
really thinking about having that core pulled in. Using your core to do cardio? Wait a second, I thought we were just using our heart and lungs. I thought we were just burning calories. No, my friends, we are getting fitter. We are getting more effective with our workouts by being efficient in maybe a different way. Uh, okay. I really gotta think about this balance work. This is not efficient for my brain to think, which foot am I standing on? Which way am I doing? What am I doing here? When it beeps again, we're doing those punch down tap outs and we're pairing them with the front clap kickers. I always wanna call it, here we quit the punch down tap outs. I always wanna call it a front cap clipper. And that is my real problem. It's why I'm so careful about saying it the way I say it. Not because, not because I'm afraid. You know how sometimes with tongue twisters, you're like, oh, what just came out of my mouth? No, I, I, it's not like a bad word or anything. It's just, it's just not what it's trying to be because, because clap is not necessarily a word I say very often, but I say cap pretty often. So my mouth has become very efficient at that word, even though it is not effective for when I want to say clap. You guys, there are examples of this everywhere in your life. You have ways of doing things that are super efficient just because it's what you've always been doing. Oh, this is just the way it's done, but it's not necessarily the most effective. Ask this balance work to come all the way up to your center of balance. When it beeps, here we go, front clap kickers. And when it beeps again, we're doing those diving airplanes. I know you had no idea that you were going to get such an education today on how your body works and balancing. And you were like, I thought we were doing cardio, Paula. Yeah, we are, cardio for your brain. Here we go with those diving airplanes. I've realized somewhat recently that I really, really, really like to know why I'm doing things. It's why I tell you all the time why we're doing things because I would rather know why something is happening rather than just, I don't know which foot I was on, I'm just gonna go this one, rather than just doing something. I love to know why this works the way it works. I have a wildly unrelated, we're gonna do the diving airplanes plus the kick jacks. I have a wildly unrelated criminology degree, which is so funny to me. Here we go with diving airplanes. And I realized, because I got that degree, because I really wanted to be a detective. And I realized that it shows up in my life in so many ways. The way I ask questions all the time, the way I want to just know why. Why is this the way it is? I'm constantly detecting why we're doing things. Here we go with kick jacks. Okay, I got that one right. Took me a while to transition, but I got it right. So I'm patting myself on the back, you guys. When it beeps again, we've got 20 seconds of rest and then we're gonna do just these kick jacks by themselves for the final thing in our inchworm. However, that is not gonna be the final thing that we do if you have been around here for at least two days. <laughs> Today is day three with you. I always have one final thing. Here's the thing, we're gonna do those kick jacks again. So be thinking about balancing, be thinking about we're only gonna do one more interval like this and then yes, as a matter of fact, I do have, here we go with kick jacks, I do have more balance work for us. I absolutely do. So when it beeps again, we're actually gonna go directly into the finisher. So it is super slow toy soldiers. Toy soldiers means that we have both hands up. We're gonna reach one hand, our opposite hand, down towards our opposite kicking foot. Now ordinarily we would do this at a cardio pace. Today, super slow pace really thinking about bringing that leg up, 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 while balancing. And because we're not gonna get very many of these done, we're actually gonna do two intervals. So when it beeps again, we're gonna continue doing these, because I had a feeling we were gonna get about that many done. <laughs> Really thinking about your balance, really thinking about bringing that leg up by squeezing your big muscles in the front of your thigh. Rather than just trying to be efficient, flinging your leg up, try to be effective. Work those big, big muscles, my friends. That's what we have them for, and that ha, was it. What did you think about that? Did you think you were balancing today? Because <laughs> we did my friends, both in reality and metaphorically, take your time on your balance. Honestly, 
I know, I know that you have big goals. I know that you have lofty dreams. I know that you want to get where you want to go as fast as possible. But let me tell you something. Figuring out how to balance the five things in the 5-0 method is arguably the hardest part of it. Once you get going, it's kind of like, if you know how to ride a bicycle, it's kind of like riding a bicycle. It takes a long time to get your balance and then once you've got it, you're off and rolling. Let's go ahead and open this up. <sighs> what a great job you did today. Let's close it up. Give yourself a hug and a pat on your sweaty back. Mm, a little bit more balancing here. I almost fell over <laughs> in the cool down. <laughs> my friends. I want you to know that no matter how how weird it feels, actually day on, on here on day three, it probably feels amazing. You're probably like, no, I've totally got this. This is not a problem. As you repeat this five-day series over the course of this month, you might come back around to this and be like, oh yeah, now I see what she was talking about. This did get a little bit harder to fit everything in. It did get a little bit harder to stick with it. It did get a little bit harder to balance everything. And I want you to know, take your time balancing. Once you you are balancing because you are. I am balancing. Once you're balancing, it's all going to go fine. It's going to just roll on down the road. Thank you so much for working out with me today. Make sure before you go that you hit that subscribe button and I'll see you tomorrow.